In a tranquil morning, as the soft rays of the sun kissed the earth, a wise and serene figure walked down a bustling street, only to stumble upon a scene by the lake that caught his attention. The great Buddha, a beacon of peace and wisdom, observed a group of young boys engaged in fishing. Their laughter filled the air, but the reason was far from joyful. Sensing a teachable moment, the Buddha approached the boys with gentle steps. His presence was like a calm breeze that suddenly made the boys freeze in amazement. Dear children, may I ask you a question? Do you enjoy suffering? Do you like to be in pain? No sir, we don't like to suffer. Nobody likes that. If you don't wish to suffer or be in pain, why inflict such suffering on these innocent creatures? Every action of our body, speech, and mind should refrain from causing harm. Pain follows those who spread pain. As beings who cherish happiness and seek safety, we must extend that wish to all around us, not just ourselves. I never thought about it like that. Remember, life echoes our actions back to us. If we harm, harm returns to us. If we love and spread kindness, that too will return manifold. We'll remember this. Thank you for showing us kindness. As the boys released the fish back into the glistening waters, a small but significant transformation occurred within their hearts. On that serene morning, lessons were learned not just about kindness, but about the profound interconnectivity of all life. The Buddha continued on his path, leaving behind a ripple of change that would echo through time. Thank you for watching. Remember to reflect on the impact of your actions and spread kindness wherever you go. If you found value in this story and the lessons shared today, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Remember, every act of kindness echoes throughout the world. Join us next time for more insights and inspiration.